Hello perfect beauties, my name is Daisy and welcome to the Acne channel where I post an acne related video every Tuesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So last video I had, I talked a lot about bad ingredients in your skincare products and toothpaste and personal care products. So if you haven't seen that, please click here to see that video. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about uh, bad ingredients in more specifically your face skincare products. So things like that are anti-aging or acne products or whatnot. So let's get started. So we're gonna be talking about retinol palmitate, retinol acetate, and retinoic acid and retinol. So these can be found in moisturizers, uh, foundation, lip products, sunscreen, and anti-aging products. So if you have moderate to severe acne that hasn't gotten better with other treatments, a retinoid may help. Uh, when spread on the skin, retinoids can unclog pores, allowing other medicated creams and gels to work better. So how does this affect our bodies then? Well, retinoid overdose since retinoid came from vitamin A, where too much vitamin A is received in retinoid form, hypervitaminosis A can occur. Try saying that a million times fast. If you're using this, watch out for these symptoms. Nausea, blurred vision, fatigue, weight loss, and menstrual abnormalities. If using retinoids make your skin uncomfortably flaky, red, or irritated, seek out gentler measures. Last bad chemical I also wanna to talk to you about is something we use to lighten the skin, and that is, drum roll please. Hydroquinine. Hydroquinone, or hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is used to lighten the dark patches of the skin, also called hyperpigmentation, melasma, liver spots, age spots, freckles, caused by pregnancy, birth control, pills, hormone medicine, or injury to the skin. This medicine works by blocking the process in the skin that leads to discoloration. The advantages of using hydroquinone are uh, mild burning, stinging redness, and dryness may occur. So I have talked about the fears of having bad chemicals in our skincare products. So now let's talk about how we can avoid them. So first is to make your own DIY products and check the ingredients thoroughly because there are bad chemicals out there we must be on the lookout for, not just in skincare products, but also in everything, everything, like cosmetics, hygiene products, children things, the food you eat, the coffee. Um, and also check out organic skincare products like Vanish. Hmm? Wink. <laughs> also, I hate to say this, even though I do own a skincare company, just avoid using a lot of skincare products. Like, I don't even try out a lot of products anymore because my skin has never looked better and I just don't wanna ruin it. So the basics you gotta try are things like drinking water, eat lots of fruits and veggies, dr uh, avoid junk foods, sleep, and I say to limit your animal, uh, animal products like meat and dairy. So thank you all so much for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this. And don't forget, I make skincare related videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And comment below about what you want me to talk about for next week's Acne Channel video. Um, and don't forget that I have part one of this video, I'll put it here, or maybe I'll just link it, you know, in the description. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You should know your